All right, so in this video, we're going to use the double distributive property or the difference of squares, it doesn't matter, um, to multiply this number times this number, right? Just to kind of show that it really does work and, and, and get a, more of, a, a, of an understanding with something we, we understand, which is just multiplying two numbers together, right? Well, first of all, I'm quickly going to just use long multiplication to multiply these, okay? So let's let, let talk me through this. Nine times one is nine. Nine, nine times zero, zero. Nine times one, nine. Then put down a placeholder, zero. Nine times one is nine. Nine times zero, zero. Nine times one is nine. And then we add. You with me? So nine and zero, nine. Zero, nine is nine. Nine, and nine is nine, and that's nine. So what number is that? Good, 9,999. Good job. So that would be long multiplication, right? So we're going to do this just for fun. This is just for fun to see, like, what happens when you apply the double distributive property. Um, so 101, I'm going to write it like this, 100 plus 1. See that? And 99 is almost 100, right? Isn't it? 99 is 100 minus what? One. Okay, so we're going to write like that. You got that? Yes. Okay. Then we're going to, so you with me so far. So we're going to take this 100 here. We're going to multiply it by that 100. And then we're going to take the 100 and multiply it by the negative 1. And then we're going to multiply the positive 1 by, by everything, right? But let's start out with what's 100 times 100? 1,000. Now, you got to get it right. It's not 1,000. So take your time. Get it right. A hundred times a hundred. A hundred hundreds. Ten thousand. Ten thousand, right? Because ten hundreds is a thousand. Right? But a hundred hundreds is actually ten thousand. Good. Right. Um, what's a hundred times negative one? Yeah, minus 100. Good. Negative 100. Now we take the positive 1 and multiply that by this and then multiply that by this. Okay? So what's 1 times 100? 100. Plus 100. Plus 100. Good. What's 1 times negative 1? Negative 1. Minus 1. Now we kind of have a, like terms here, funny enough, because we have like a negative 100 plus 100. Do you see that? See that? Yeah. Right. Um, so, so, what's negative 100 plus 100? They cancel each other out. Right, cancel each other out. It's just zero, isn't it? Yes. So that makes zero. And so I just have 10,000 minus 1, basically, right? Because that makes zero. So what's 10,000 minus 1? Be one less, so it'll be nine thousand, right? It's just one less than this number, so it's nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, correct? Yes. Yeah, so that's all. Just a little exercise to help us understand how this works in uh, with uh, with numbers we understand, right? Good.